good evening channel. How are you guys? Hope you guys are doing well. We are back. It's been two or three days since the LZ World Tour. We've got Sam's car home, all nice and safe and sound. So we are here this evening to assess the damage on the 14. Now, uh, if you're just joining us, or you've just recently subscribed, or you've missed the last couple of vlogs, which it's most likely in, uh, there was an incident where I've let Sam borrow the 14 while he's been over for his trip in Australia. Uh, and he was driving the 14 home one night, coming from here, when we were working on the cars. It was late, and it was dark, and unfortunately, Sam was the victim of a 50-50 board slide and yeeted the S14 off a pine log. Funnily enough, we got one right here. One of these logs. Exactly one of these logs. Now these things have like massive big sleeper spikes in them usually to attach to these that come all the way down to here. I've got one as a souvenir. I threw it in the car just for giggles really. But uh, someone decided that putting one of these on the middle of the road on a crest in the middle of the dark and hiding in the bushes to watch cars hit it was a good and smart idea. And that manslaughter is okay. Long story short, Sam got out of it okay, thankfully. Um, the motorbike rider in front of him thankfully got out of it okay, very narrowly dodging this log. Unfortunately, Sam was worried about the motorcyclist and the erratic movements and was watching him and was not paying too much attention to the log that was directly in front of him, which is how he uh, yeeted the log. Done quite a bit of damage to the newly restored painful S14. So that really really sucked because we were so so busy with building Sam's 200SX over here that I had to go out, I saved Sam, I took him a spare car and we got him home but I then had to organize a tow at 3 o'clock in the morning which massive thank you to Josh. He came out and same with Ethan and Bella they all came out. Uh, Ethan and Bella keeping Sam company and Josh coming out to tow me home. Uh, I think he came a three hour extra round trip after already doing an interstate travel that night and came and got the car home for me so it didn't have to sit on the side of the road all messed up. It's exactly where we left it. We got home I think it's six or seven that morning and I rolled it down to here, turned the key off, locked it up and we went straight back to working on Sam's car. And that's where we're currently at. So this thing has been sitting since. I haven't had a chance to look at it because we've been down in Melbourne. Uh, we had a brief look in probably the vlog that you will see before this of what happens. Um, I did vlog some of that night uh, and the damages that we did find that night of the evening. Straight off the bat, the front driver's side has taken the majority of the initial damage where it's yeeted on the log. So the front driver's side is all messed up. I know there's some bugs on this as well that you can kind of see all the damage on that. At least the front bar is not in a million pieces, but we've still got damage where it's hit hard enough that it's bent into the intercooler and done some pretty gnarly damage, unfortunately. Which is... I know the, uh, the moon is rising and the sun is setting, so we may not get the best visuals here, so I'll probably do this. Uh, in the daytime at some stage and have a better look over things but I just want to show you guys initial damage report on the S14 yes we have a mounted guard now I think what has happened here is when the car has hit the log the front bar has obviously smashed into the log and sucked the front bar under the car which has damaged the guard and pulled the guard in you can see we've got a nice big punch mark in the guard here and we've also got a bent rippled edge here. Now the paint's been cracked off it. Paint cracked off the side here where the front bar's hit. And the guard has been pushed in. I've got to wash this so I can check this all out properly but the guard has been pushed in pretty hard. Uh, on the other side here, same deal with the other guard. The other guard didn't cop it as bad. The side skirt down here is cop damage. So it's all cracked the side skirt here. This side skirt, it must have, I've put them on really well. I'm actually pretty proud of how well I put on these side skirts. Now uh, we've got cracks and stress marks all down in here. Now again, I apologize, it is dirty. I know it's probably a little hard to see and being black, it's again, hard to see. So the side skirts hit hard enough that it's been pushed up 
and back down again and it's elongated the holes for the side skirt along here so that's pretty impressive the other one I think is okay. I've, got to, I've still got to get under the car, as you can see by the jack. Jack it up, make sure the rails are straight. But it was a big enough impact that both the front wheels here got smashed straight up into the top of the wheel wells. I think I, yeah, there you go. So it's smashed into the uh, wiring loom up the top here. Now all this was tucked when I done the bare metal respray, so the wheels have hit that hard that they've smashed up, I think knocked off the cable tires and the, the uh, loom has fallen down onto the wheel while the car is in the mid of this accident. We've still got to get these wheels off, check out the steering rack. We've got to make sure the, the offset rack spaces are in one piece. Uh, the coilovers have obviously bottomed out completely. Um, so I've got to make sure that you know they're not leaking and they didn't explode on me, the poor things. Brand new, so uh, if they survived, kudos to D2 coilovers. But yeah, we're also going to make sure none of the rest of the arms are broken. And get them out because Corey wants his arms back. So, got to find something else to uh, put in the car to get it rolling. To this side, it snapped my headlight brackets. Hello kitty! Yes, the cat's name is Kitty. <laughs> Very original. Um, now these are not cheap, which sucks. Thankfully the glass is okay, but all the headlight brackets are now snapped and broken, which is not great. That one's not bad, this one's okay. Um, whew, uh, yeah, the intercooler took a bit of the hit as well. Underneath the intercooler, do you remember those really hardcore over-engineered um, intercooler brackets I told you guys that we made that were a bit overkill? Well, I think they saved the car, to be honest. I really do. They got pummeled. They were so solid that they have crumpled the intercooler to stop the intercooler from folding in on the car on the log. It didn't even split the intercooler when it hit the rail on the edge here. Now this side is taking the majority of the damage that you can still see on the other side. We have some room, which that was initially the same on this side. So those brackets and the bracket above here was well worth it, but I'm now hoping that my rad support and stuff is not too bent or anything like that and yeah solid intercooler piping <laughs> it held up it done really well um all right so parkers we still got in which is nice they were flush so I'd, i would say that this guard has uh again this has been uh the wheels have smashed all the way up so i'd say this guard's been dislodged or maybe slightly bent from how it was sitting because we did not have a big gas gap I'll check that out later. But at least the gap on this side is not too bad. But you can see the gap on this side is pretty bad in terms of the guard and how much the guard's moved. Um, this one, I 100% know this guard's moved because here's some damage up here that we've got from where the guard has plowed into the A pillar. As cringe as it would be to say, I almost would have wanted to be there to see this happen in person to know how this car took this like a boss because it did it took it like a boss some uh bent lips here now this one i think got out of it mainly because i think the wheel on this side might have had a couple of mil clearance for the camber and the wheels bounced up just dodging the guard on this side but still hit the top of the wheel well you can see on both of the wheel wells again i'll pull these off and we'll have a look later you can see the marks where the wheels have smashed into the top of the wheel wells. We've got all these little snapped little bits of paint off on the edge here. And then down here as well. Where the boot must have bounced or flexed or twisted or something. I don't know what's going on. Ah uh, no, it's not in one piece. Damn it. Oh it had a it's had a short life. I'm sorry, indicator. R.I.P. Yeah, I kind of need a cloth. Um, I'm not going to do this right now because I don't want to rub the dirt even more into the paint. You guys can see how filthy it is. It's been sitting here for three days, but being out in rural areas, it's horrible for cars. It's really, really bad. It's rained. It's sprinkle. It's sprinkle rained. This is like moisture from overnight um, that just sits. I don't know, I gotta paint my door jams red. I mean, at this stage, I probably might have to paint the whole car again. 
Oh, and Sam, don't worry, if you're watching this, I think we both know I already lost my mirror. <laughs> that was um, on the Gladstone Drift home, my mirror just went poof at the last minute. I was like, oh, that's not uh, desirable. But yeah, so uh, at this aesthetic stage, just staring at the car, front guards, front bar, um, inner cooler. Oh, oh, I haven't shown you the wheels. Yes, okay. These aren't the wheels that smashed into the log. This one smashed into the log. And you see right here, can you see the lack of roundness? But it gets better. Unfortunately, my poor Desmond Life Sports copped the brunt of this log with three out of my four wheels now absolutely annihilated. There we go. I don't know if there's damage further up. Again, I have to get under and, and have a good look at all the car, but the wheels have taken one hell of a log hit on most of them. I think you see on that one as well. It's a little wonky on the bottom there. Oh, it absolutely sheared the bolt off that one. Huh. Sheared the bolt off? Yeah. Hey guys, just check the car out, checking out some damage. As we kind of ramped up on these, these weren't kinked. <laughs> we we over <laughs> no, they so weren't kinked. Sheared the bolt off that. We've over engineered the uh the inner cooler. Here, so this corner caught the majority of it and it's kind of skirted on here. Turn this on an upwards angle which moved this up slightly, but at that point it would have skated along the across these and wipes damage the wheels because the wheels are gonna be wheels. on the ground when they hit, I don't think. Yep, I guess so. That's why it was able to put such a big dent in them. But yeah, it's been enough force to shear bolts off of that slash smash the wheels. Luckily this was so strong that I think it lifted most of the car up. Yeah, so we, we technically created we skateboard off ramps off the intercooler bracing that we went full overboard on fixing up just before we put the car back on the road and we built these little guys here but because we add this tiny little gap here this has almost actually saved quite a lot of the car damage and as the car has been traveling forward it's then smashed into both the front wheels however this part here has been in the air so it's somehow dodged hitting a lot of this otherwise it's just probably very lightly skidded across the k-frame potentially but because it destroyed the front bar and pulled the guards down like did, everything, yeah. everything's a trade-off it means the bottoms got out of it but it meant the front bar got pulled under the car the which got... launched the car into the air yep. so these got bent we launched luckily missed most of our underneath barring that pushed it higher yeah, thank god it hit and missed the sump so he would have jumped hit here double jumped and that would have been the part where he said it got airborne yep the wheels would have hit and sent it higher and then we've hit down about and then we smashed further down so while the car is still mid-travel We've gone further down and it's smashed into the dump here. Drag down the bottom here. I'm going to zoom in so I can show you so I don't have to get all the way down there yet. Uh, it's hit the cat just here where you can see chunks out of it here. That's also hit the rail just here. You can see about five or six spots Sli on the exhaust yeah, there. Yeah, slid kind of down. Up. This is the one time I'm happy that my exhaust is lower than my chassis rail. That has literally saved quite a bit of the car damage because Probably the car has board you. slided across the exhaust. I now do also, yes, have a dump leak. But again, the wheels getting damaged as heavily as they were probably saved the coilovers because exactly. they got slammed into the body, which stopped the coilovers from bending the shaft in the coilover. Let me just turn the wheel so I can see the... the wheel instead. But uh, it saves the lock kit, so the LCAs look like they're okay. The um, caster arms look like they're okay. The coilovers look like they're okay. Nothing's weeping. However, the wheels have gone that far up in the wheel well. They've smashed the, the loom um, and the top of the wheel arch here, and then dragged the uh, wiring loom down into the wheels and eaten. Oh, oh. That's crazy. That's I've tucked that. That was literally tucked up, and it's still done that amount of damage. That that is nuts. Look, we hit the um, we hit the inner piping. <laughs> Got some mm. nice little scrubby marks here. I actually brought this up in an earlier vlog and said that because this was an, a universal shelf kit, that this was probably going to be an issue. But uh, it definitely is an issue. Uh, you can see here where it's hitting up here, and then up here, and then where the wheel has skimmed across the whole upper half of the guard there. I can't see like any gouges or marks out of the top of the camber plate, so it doesn't look like it's like forced it to move too much. And it doesn't look bent if you stare down the side of it. 
The rack. How's the rack? Can we turn the wheel the other way for a sec? Excuse me for a sec. I don't know how, but I think the rack is okay. Well, you got shockies, so if you need to jump wood, it'll take some <laughs> shock. Cars are not meant to jump, sorry, bright light. Cars are not meant to ollie things. This would have tilted forward and tried to pull it underneath the car. Yeah. It would have cracked all, that's why you got cracks in the door jam. Yeah. A cracks on where it actually mounts at the front. It's because it tried to pull that whole thing down with the... Yeah, it's done it on both sides, but the driver's side is by far worse. The V-band on the back of the exhaust is bent, and I know we've got on the other side of the car, you'll be able to see it. We can't see it on this side, but there's splinters, big finger-long splinters hanging out of the bottom of uh, the back of the car. My poor wheels. I loved my wheels. Hopefully because they're such a 90s old school wheel that they're quite malleable and they can be heated and safely bent back into shape. Fingers crossed. Hoping. Oh, I need a garage. I hate leaving my cars out in this. Uh, we do have a little bit of damage on the back here where the, the wheel has been smashed into the top of the guard here and it sucked the guard out. That's okay though. It had virgin guards, or virgin unrolled guards. Oh man, there's all my paint gone. You guys are probably gonna flame me for this one, but 34 is my least favorite skyline of all time. <laughs> Two door, four door, I don't care. They are aesthetically quite pretty cars. However, I just don't like them. They're just, <laughs> the front bars are nice. The whole front end is really nice, but don't like the engineering of the RB. <laughs> flame, flame, flame. And I really just do not enjoy the interior. They just, they don't look very nice. I'm sorry. Sorry, but not sorry. They just, they, they got to that stage where we got to mass produce plastic. Even the doors are light. They also feel like a bus. I feel like I'm driving a bus. Okay, uh, ooh, here we go with damage. These are my fronts. Now, from a 10 meter distance, they look fine. Kind of. And then you get closer. We've got one hell of a hit. My tires are like four days old too. I'm really hoping my tires are okay. Fingers crossed for me, please. Look at that nice big chunk. You can see here, it's not round anymore. Not even remotely round. So that was one. And then my other front. Got the buckle up on here. But because my fronts had so much camber, the rear side of the barrels actually took the majority of the damage on both wheels. I'm really hoping that these are repairable because I don't want to go through the effort of having to rebarrel them. I also don't want to put that on Sam to have to rebarrel a set of wheels. But hopefully they can be fixed um, and that we can sort this out and I'm not looking forward to having to go back to the paint shop so soon. I only got like seven days out of it pretty before it was damaged again. It's not fun, not fun at all, but that's Carl's and um, I lent him the car, so it just happens. How nice is the moon tonight? <laughs> it's just about how you move forward, so we're gonna keep doing that. And I'll catch you guys in the next vlog if I don't trip over this brick here. See you guys then.